If you would like to personalize your Wii U so it looks a little bit different than everyone else's, then there's loads of skins out there that you can buy, not just for the gamepad, but also the console as well. So in this particular kit here, this is this one here, made by Power Ray, Super Mario kit, it was just for the gamepad. So it came with this sticker that you put onto it to change the look of it. It also came with this rubber surround, which is a bit baggy, it's not the nicest. You've got a little bag to put the gamepad in, and you've also got this Mario little stylus here. So even without the surround, you can still see that it does look nice with that, and it does really change the look of it. Good thing about it as well is it's easy to peel off, so if you wanted to change it, then you can peel it off without damaging anything. Okay, so it's a nice idea if you want to completely change the look of your Wii U without spending much money and without causing damage to it. The battery life on the Wii U gamepad can be quite short. So as you can see now, I've got my red light on there. And if you have a look there, it's in red because it's about to run out. So an easy way to boost it is to get yourself one of these, which is like a plug-in battery on the back. And it also acts as a kickstand as well. So if you have a look here, it's made by Nyko. It's called a U-Boost. And it's supposed to double the time that you can play on it. Really simple to install. All we need to do is spin it round, get this, slot it into the bottom there like so, and then just do up this little thumb screw at the top here. Okay, and now, you can see, we've still got our battery light on, you can still see it's in red up here, but all we have to do is turn on the little button down here, and now it will start charging it. So you can see up there, it's now charging it, so we can now play for much longer. Now, when it comes to charging up this unit itself, we can use our charging cable that comes with the Wii U and just plug it in there like so, or it will still charge if you do have the first party stands here. So if we plug that back into there, you will now see that you can still put it in there and it will charge it up. And an added benefit of having it is the kickstand. So we can pull the kickstand out of the back. You need to give it quite a hard pull to actually get it out. And now we can stand it up like that. And for example, if you wanted to play your Wii games using the sensor bar up here on the actual Wii U gamepad, then we can sit back and do that and it can stand up in its own right without resting against anything. To make your Wii U portable, similar to a Nintendo Switch, it is actually quite easy to do, again, with things like power banks. So if you have a look here, we've got this working wirelessly, and we've got nothing else connected to this, it's not connected to any power. So all I've done here is used a car starter. So you can get these off places like eBay and Amazon. This one cost me £30, and this will output 12 volts through this DC jack here. Now the Wii U takes 15 volts, so I've had to use a step-up converter to step it up from 12 volts to 15 volts. This one here is just a laptop charger. You have to be really careful. If you were going to do this properly for yourself, you would need to make sure to either get a 15 volt power bank to start with, or if you are using a step-up converter, make sure that you somehow fix it to the position of 15 volts, otherwise it could easily get knocked up to here to 24 volts, which is gonna damage the Wii U. But in this instance here, I've just converted the lead here. This was the cigarette lighter lead that goes into the 12 volt outlet on the car, so I've just converted that to a DC jack. And this side here was the bit that goes into your laptop. Well, I've just converted to go straight into the power supply connectors off the Wii U down there. But what you could do is you could just use the little adapter, the power adapter, cut the cable that comes with the Wii U, cut the cable, and then splice this onto it instead. So the idea is that you would put this in a rucksack like this. Now this is like a gym bag, so if you have a look, it's vented, so I've got holes down either side of it. Or you can get gym bags, and swim bags in particular, that have vents everywhere, and that will allow the Wii U console to get plenty of air. So you need to keep the vents free at the side, the top, and also especially the fan at the back. So let me just pop it in the bag here. So now if you have a look in there, you can see that the Wii U's on its side. So these vents are free here, and also the vent at the back here for the fan is also free. So there's plenty of air that can get around the place. The Wii U console doesn't get particularly hot, but you still need to have airflow around it, otherwise it will overheat. Now I'm just gonna show you a clip when I was walking in the woods off the video I did before when I talked about the portable Wii U. So let me just show you. Mario Kart. Mario Kart! Hey! 
If you use your Wiimotes a lot, then it might annoy you when you have to change the batteries. Well, it's not a problem now because we can easily get rechargeable ones very cheaply. So if you have a look at that Wiimote there, you can see now that it's flashing because it's about to run out. Well, I've picked up this kit here. This is a Orb Wii U Charge Dock kit, and it actually comes with two rechargeable battery packs for the Wiimote. So I've already got one plugged in there, and I'm just going to do the same on this one here now. Nice and simple. They just look like that. And you just plug them on like that. And now, if you have a look here, you can see now we've got the full battery. One annoying thing about it is though the sync button. You have to use something long and thin. Unfortunately, the stylus doesn't work. Well, not the ones that I have anyway. It's just not long enough to get in there to change it. So if you're constantly changing the sync because you're using this on various different things, then that could become irritating. Now to charge them up, what you need to do is you need to get the dock and you need to get your original Wii charging cable and you need to just plug it into the back there. That will provide power to it. And then, for example, if you want to do the Wiimotes, you just put them in the back there like that. You can see that they will go to red when they're charging. Like that. And then, for example, if you want to do the gamepad here, you can see my battery's on at the gamepad at the moment, so it's getting low. I can just plug that into the front there and you will see now it goes to red. And now you can see that the gamepad is charging because it's got the little light on there. And also if you look at the symbol up there. Like so. If you've got your Wii U set up in your bedroom, you might sometimes want to play it on the big screen rather than constantly using the gamepad, but you might not be allowed a TV up in your room, or possibly you might not have the space on your walls to put a TV, there might not be a good location for it. In which case then, a mini projector might come in handy. So if you have a look now, I've got my Wii U just over there, and then a tiny little HDMI cable going out to this little mini projector, and I've got it pointing up at the ceiling. And then what you can do is you can just lie in your bed, and then if you look up at the ceiling, you can see then by just having that on the ground, we've got a equivalent of about a 70 inch TV up there and this room at the moment is quite bright but yet you can still see it okay. With these mini projectors they don't pump out a lot of lumens so they look much better at night time when the room's dark but it's still more than playable now. So if you have a look I've got my gamepad here and you can see it moving up on screen there up on the ceiling. So it might be an option for those of you that would like to play the big screen in your room but you just haven't got the space. If you would like to play your Wii U on a bigger gamepad, then it is possible to make your own. Now, although this looks like a gamepad, it's actually mimicking the TV side of things, not the gamepad. So with the Wii U, you can have often something on the gamepad and then something different on the screen. For example, like Splatoon or Mario Kart 8. With this one, it's purely going to be whatever is on your TV will be working here. But the benefit of it is, on this you're limited to 480p and it's a small screen. On this one you can choose whatever screen you want, this is 10.5 inches and it's 1080p on this particular monitor. And the games that will allow it, like Super Smash Bros, will be 1080p at 60 frames per second on this. A lot of other games will be 720p but it still looks better than the 480p here, mainly because of the size of it as well and it's an IPS monitor. Now to get it to work obviously you need a monitor, you need a power bank, you're going to need some Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers here and most importantly you need a wireless HDMI but the inside of this is quite small so you can actually put it inside the unit itself. So I've already done a video on this kind of stuff so I'm just going to show you some gameplay from that. Now the reason it would be good is for example on Splatoon you can't play it on your gamepad you can only play it on the TV while on this one here you would be able to play Splatoon in your hands in a handheld mode because it thinks it is the TV because you are getting the same picture that's on your TV so that can be useful. Right let me show you some of that gameplay from the other video. Okay, so this is Super Mario 3D World. If you would like to keep the gamepad off your Wii U scratch free then it's a good idea to put a screen protector on it so you don't get scratches on the screen. Now on other devices like the Nintendo Switch it's really nice to get a tempered glass one which is a very very thin 
piece of completely flat glass and they look really premium. The problem with the Wii U gamepad is that if we were to put a tempered glass one on, then sometimes you can find it hard to use the touch screen. So you can check these reviews yourself on Amazon. You can see that on the more expensive products, a lot of the time they don't have the full rating of stars because people find it hard to use the actual touch screen, even though it does really protect it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using very cheap ones. So here I've got a pack of six. I think they were only about three pounds for a pack of six of them. Now these are going to scratch very easy, unlike the tempered glass ones, but because they're so cheap, I'm just going to peel it off and replace it when I need it. So as you can see with this, because it's so thin and flexible, it's not going to cause any problems when it comes to the touch screen. So I'm going to fast forward through this bit now. I'm just going to give it a good clean and pop the screen protector on just to show you it working. There you go, so I've finished now and you can't actually tell it's on there and now it is going to give me an element of protection from scrapes because then when it scratches up I can just peel off the old one and then put a new one on there. Now when you do it yourself you might as well turn your Wii U gamepad off, I just did it just purely for the video to leave it on. But if you have a look now you can still see that the touch screen's working absolutely fine. Let me get the stylus out. And it will perform just like it would do without it. So in this instance, it can be beneficial to go for the cheaper ones, which are very thin and flexible. There we go, so that concludes this video. Hopefully you will have found one of them or more of those things useful. Maybe you want to try out a few of them yourself, or maybe you want to try out various different combinations. You might want to do the Wii U portable with a projector, for example. So please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.